hi guys my name is Dillis and welcome to my channel coffee with Dillis quick question have you ever met a procrastinator before let me introduce you to one my humble self me Dillis me I can procrastinate for the whole world I don't think there's anybody that can procrastinate like me me hmm that's my that's my talent that's my official talent to procrastinate <laughs> anyways um thank you guys and before we get into what I have for you in this new video kindly subscribe and turn on turn on the notification button so that every time that i upload a new video you can always get a notification and then you come and watch and let's have fun together and like and do not forget to share thank you and stay tuned welcome back guys so i was talking about um being the biggest procrastinator you can ever think about every time i i i, I always tell myself well i'm going to start up this youtube channel i'm going to start uploading videos and all of that and then i'll say okay i'll start tomorrow tomorrow comes i say okay i'll start after tomorrow and then I'll, oh i'll buy a ring light oh I, I, i'm going to buy a camera oh i'm going to i just keep going on and on and on and on but let me assure you if you're watching this video today be rest assured that you're going to be having more videos from me every week that's why you have to subscribe you have to you can't miss the fun you can't ah i always come with ginger i always come with just good things so you can't miss the fun you have to subscribe like turn on notification button share let your friends know don't be stingy with the gist that i always have to bring so today i'm going to be talking about my personal self myself my personal self is that even english myself yes i mean people have been asking me a lot of questions personal questions so um this is like my official video youtube you know video so i'm starting i'm actually starting up officially so i'm going to be ask, answering some of those questions um people have been are you are you cameroonian excuse me hello don't i look like a cameroonian anyway i look like yoruba people so anyways i'm a cameroonian 100 percent, 100 percent cameroonian there's no um 100 mm -hmm, cameroonian my mom is people have asked my tribe my mom is meta my dad is oroko so i'm meta slash oroko that's abby oroko slash meta well, whichever way so my mom is precisely from achatigi my dad is the oroko so yes the people of ndonga and plantain is that the copy i don't even i don't speak my dialect it's, it's a disgrace but you people should not draw me for grace i beg excuse me choose me i did not grow up on that side i speak meta i grew up on the other side of meta okay. yeah so guys my mom is meta precisely from achatugi my dad is a rocker so it's turning plenty and cocoa and planting and pepper on the other side so that's me Another question people have asked me is, what did I study? I am an attorney. I think I've introduced myself on my um, um, uh, Instagram blog and it was also on my page on Facebook. I'm an attorney called to the Nigerian bar and the Cameroonian bar as well. I am actually getting ready for my New York um, bar examination. So you guys wish me luck. I really have to pass this exam, honestly. Um, the next question is, are you interested in going back to school? Look at me. See my face do i look like i'm done no i'm not you see these people that have phd they didn't, they don't have they don't have two heads they didn't even create them differently so me i intend to have that phd as well so as you're looking at me like this after that new york bar somebody's going back to school yes i actually want to have a phd i want to be a doctor barista Dillis, you get it you get it I can't even become pastor. Everybody, need, we need title, even doctor, anything. So, yes, I'm going back to school. The next question is, how many countries have you visited? Wait, I'm talking about the number of countries I've visited. I've actually been to a couple of them. Ghana, Nigeria. We lived in Ghana one time. So, Ghana, Nigeria. I went to school in Nigeria. Um, Mali, Togo, Ivory Coast, um ethiopia dubai philippines france america there's there's one other one i can't remember but i def i'll definitely remember i'll let you know i like to travel a lot first of all i like to 
meet new people get to know other people's cultures and traditions and then work to took me around so yeah i've been to a couple of places and i still intend to go to lots more so yep next question is how many schools did you attend i've been to many schools actually almost like the number of countries i've been to so i went to cpc bali that's why i went to form one first cpc was like one of my best schools you know when i went to bali that's from one um th back then people had the impression that cpc was a really rough school so by the time i was going to form one or going to start school in cpc bali my mom had already started um going on with um admission um um trying to get me admission into pss bafu because i really didn't like it i wanted to go to pss mancon you know how the whole thing normally happens so by the time i was done with bali and liking it at that time i'd already had a mission in bafut and deposit had already been paid by my mom so when i i told her like mom i, I maybe want to go back to bali or i want to go back to, she was like no problem you can go back to bali as long as you're going to pay your fee at that time she had paid you know well, where was i supposed to see money to pay fee in bali so yeah i had to go to bafut that's how I found myself in PSS Bafut. PSS Bafut, I went to Lycée Moliko for one year, had my ordinary level there. From there, I went to PHS Kumba. I was in PHS Kumba for lower seed one year, took the advanced level in lower seed. Um, and then, yes, I went to SWA, got my first degree, started my master's um, program there. Then from there, um, I went to, to Nigerian law school. So that's how I found myself in Nigeria yes so i've actually been to a couple of schools tea or coffee 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 ah what can i do without coffee everybody anybody who knows me knows that i, I really like coffee like that i mean the aroma itself it, 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 it just it just there's something about the aroma that keeps me going I, there's no way i'm going to to you know get the aroma of coffee and not want to have a cup i'll always want to coffee every day if i'm talking too much go to the next question Delice. what's your favorite movie I'm, I'm not a TV person, I swear. I can stay at home for God knows how long. I'm never going to turn on the TV. So I don't... Favorite? No, I don't think I have... I don't think so. I don't. I don't. There are a couple of interesting movies that I like. Um, but favorite? No. What's your favorite restaurant? Favorite? What happened to my pot in my kitchen? I'll cook in the house. My favorite restaurant is my kitchen. Excuse me. Even though my friend when she comes when she's in in america she'll be telling me let's go to fridays let's go to fridays let's go she knows herself man Cavera. fridays 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 it's not my favorite restaurant i just go there because manka likes to go there go and eat ribs my favorite restaurant is my kitchen next thing one bad habit look you guys let me tell you something i'm going to be sincere and honest i don't like to greet people i'm not snobbish don't get it twisted i just don't like to greet people have you ever have you ever been in i don't know how to even explain it like when i see somebody i i, I mean i'll literally make a fake phone call just so that i don't greet you it's just a bad habit who does that only deal is now me i'm the biggest procrastinator now see me i know life will salute people i don't even get it somebody should pray for me out there you people need to pray father lord pray for hey god i have to stop it's really bad okay next thing do you plan on going back to cameroon or is america your new home i mean what are you see america is actually a good place to stay you know i like it over here but home is home there's no place like home besides my mom my dad they are still in cameroon so i definitely want to go back home and i'm I, i'm gonna say that america is not for old people this is not a place where you want to stay when you're old so i definitely want to go back home build myself a fancy house for myself and my family fancy house you know a nice place have a business running go back home you know next question is um what would you have been if you were not a lawyer what would i have been about rascal yes i would have been a rascal because <laughs> anyway i'm just joking I'll, pr I'll probably have been a businesswoman or a blogger like full-time blogger youtuber then business on the side i actually like business you know how it feels for you to touch money every day you know that there's money coming in and going out every day as a business oh business and blogging 
can you imagine now? Three minutes since somebody just interrupted me with a call. I, and I've been doing these cuts for, I, I mean, like seven times. I just can't get it right. Now that everything was going well, somebody just called me. What kind of people are these? Anyway, I, I, let me just go on. Um, as a blogger, do you plan going? No, I was talking about going back home. Yes, of course, I really want to go back home. America is not the place for the old, so I want to go back home when I'm retired. You know, start up a business, something, just have a, a nice house with my family. If my kids want to stay over here, that's their problem. They'll come and stay, let them live their life after by that time. I would have lived my own. Uh, uh as a blogger, do you get uh, have you ever been criticized? Me. As a blogger, have I ever been criticized? Is there any blogger they've criticized more than me? Me, if I say something, they will draw me for breast from from Yaounde to a condo titi. They criticize me. I'm tired of it. But the thing is, you know, the next question is how do you deal with it? You you can't troll me. I'm a, I have a very, very thick skin. You can't troll me. Come up with something else. I'm an emotional person, like I am a crybaby, but Mm -mm. it's not trolling it doesn't work bring something else you succeed but not trolling me you troll me i will tro i will throw you back i'm not there for that rice and beans i will throw you out you've not even seen trolling in your life i i think i sample one person some other people they are still coming up if you troll me i'll i'll do what you, i'll do what napo did not do so they can't troll me they should go and think of another thing so me i know how to deal with trolls like that how do you have siblings no i don't have any siblings What's your favorite food? I like food. I like to eat. So I don't know if I have a favorite meal like that. I like to eat. No, I don't like to eat. I like food. I, I like okra and I like rice. And I can actually eat okra and rice. In fact, me and my dad, we can eat rice with anything. I remember one time when I was much younger. Every time my mom, you know how mothers will always be asking you, who go cook where's it? What do you ask today? Me and my dad, rice. Tomorrow, who go cook where's it? Rice. My mom said, oh, you people want to kill somebody with rice in this house. So yeah, I think I like rice. I'll go with rice, yes. And then another thing that people don't know about me, people, I th I'm hyper, I don't think. I'm, I'm a hyper person. And people think that I like to club and drink alcohol, but the truth is, I I I, I can't take more than a bottle or two of alcohol. Cocktails, one or two glasses, I'm good to go. I can't take more than that. If not, I'll tell you people all of my secrets because if I drink too much, if I drink a little bit over just enough, I'll be drunk. I'll be drunk, and I'll tell you people my secrets. So. I, do, I try not to get drunk so I don't tell anybody my secret things I don't want anybody to know before I come and spill it out like that and I don't like going out I'm not an outdoor person I'm actually an introvert I'm a noisy person but I'm an introvert I I don't like clubbing as well it's just tiring you know just go somewhere do playing loud music you're dancing 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 the whole problem is the next day like I, I can be tired for one month when I go to the club so yes inside the house yes that's where i belong mm, celebrity crush uh, this question i don't know if they want me to talk about cameroonian celebrity crush or nigerian cele no what am i talking about am i nigerian so definitely cameroonian celebrity crush uh, 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 uh. why am i crushing on i think it should be a musician mm. salatia I like him. It's just that, like you know, Blanche, Daphne, me, I cannot come out myself again there. You know? So we just crush and stay from the, you know, where we are. Don't move forward. So, you guys, that's it about me. Uh, no, one thing. I didn't used to like Achu. But I, since I came to America, I not like Achu. I can actually sit and crave, crave it. Like I want to eat Achu. Like one time I remember I, I had to drive and the place where I go to eat that cheese is not it's not close by. I had to drive that distance only to go and eat that chew. What's happening? I don't understand. That's something that I lived in Bamenda for what almost five years. I'll never ever sit and say I want to go and eat that chew except my neighbor prepares that chew and she always force me to eat. And I used to like a chew but I'm not an achoo person. But since I came to this country, 
is that true? I like it. I don't understand. Somebody has to explain it to me. So, you guys, that's what I have for you today. Um, I'm going to do another session. It's going to be like 37 questions about me. It's going to be a full video. You're going to see more, know more about me uh, when the time is right. So, this is my official first YouTube video. So, welcome. Stay tuned. This is Coffee with Dillis, where the gist, the gossip, the grinding, the everything happens. And you know that I always deliver on time, in time. I always deliver anyway. So you don't want to miss anything. Stay tuned. You have to subscribe to this channel. You have to subscribe. Send it, share it, tell your friends to tell their friends to come and subscribe to this YouTube channel because this is the happening Cameroon YouTube channel. Cameroonian YouTube channel. Take anyone. But this is the happening channel. So you guys like, subscribe, share. Turn on the notification button so that every time I upload a new video, you're going to be the first person to know. We'll start giving. I'm going to start giving giveaways first person to comment. So, yes, that's going to start with this particular video. You guys, thank you so much. I'm actually ranting. I'm not supposed to be talking too much rubbish now. I'm already at the end of the video. I better edit this one before I start procrastinating that I'm editing, I'm editing. Thank you guys and see you next time. Bye-bye.